Hey guys, it's operations time again. We're gonna be playing in the yard today. Got a long hauler that came in here. I don't even know how many cars, like 15 cars or something like that. Started with that uh, little brown car right there, tank cars. We got a good mix of everything. Lumber cars over here. Like I said, it's so long, it's uh, sticking out the end of the yard over here. And I figured to kind of show you how I'm uh, giving it a try using some dice and uh, sort of uh, trying to mix things up again. Uh, now I did this before, but uh, kind of went a little bit more in depth in it. So for the first minute or two here, we'll just go over what I did here. So first off, um, I went and I made a list of all the industries on my layout and uh, or technically industries or places where cars can get dropped off. So. For instance, uh, I say SoCal oil right there. That's that little oil uh, pump that's in the corner of SoCal Edison. So that kind of counts as its own little industry. And I came up with 12 different industries where I can uh, get uh, cars, right? And uh, then next to each one, I put down the type of cars that they get. So for instance, number one there, United Polymers. They can get box cars, hoppers, or uh, tank cars. Now, I had to separate the tank cars. Tank 1 and Tank 2, as you can see in the list right here. Tank 1 are, um, you know, uh, I guess uh, petroleum-based products, right? Tank 2 are cars that uh, are, uh, you know, food grade. So, for instance, that Tank 2 right there. Uh, right in the center right there that one can go over to southern wine and spirits so anyway so there we go I kind of figured out which cars can go to my different industries then I took my handy dandy uh, clipboard here and I basically just wrote down all the cars starting um, from the back end meaning uh, the first car at the top of the list there is the tail end one because that's the first one we'll be uh, kind of working I guess um, listed them all out, uh, put down the, uh, the industry it's going to go to, but uh, here's the thing. So I numbered, I forgot to kind of go back here. So I numbered all the industries one through 12 and <clears throat> I got my handy dandy, uh, 12 sided dice right here from my bag of uh, D and D dice. And basically what I did was I said, all right, here's the first car. And uh, it's a lumber, or sorry, it's a, what is it? It's a box car, right? And so I just rolled to see which industry it went into. Now, if it rolled on an industry, say like uh, number six, that doesn't get box cars, I just re-rolled. And so I just did that with each one of the cars and then wrote down uh, which industry each one is going into. Then, what I did was I kind of broke them up into different trains. So here's where I'm blocking the train, um, meaning that like the first uh, boxcar is going to one section of my layout, and so I labeled that number three, and then kind of went down the list here and just kind of broke them down, you know, in a logical order. You know, so cars that are going to, say, Huntington Beach and SoCal Edison, that's their own little train. Um, that sort of thing and then just kind of color-coded it here to make it a little bit simpler So uh, all of the colors need to get uh, blocked together here, and that's what we're gonna be working on so Hope that makes sense. Anyway, let's jump into our uh, GP 38 n over here number 700 We'll get her fired up and get to work All right, let's get her fired up Now we're going to be running on my remote control and uh, one other thing right here since uh, we got four different trains going to kind of four different spots of the layout we figure we're going to use the the uh, tracks all four tracks in our yard um, currently the train and the line of cars here they're all sitting on track number four locomotives on track number one and then we got two in between right there so that's how we're going to split it up and you can see we got the crew over there, got engineer Rick, he's going to be running the uh, locomotive remote. And then uh, we got a couple other guys back there, they're going to be uh, doing the uh, turnouts for us. And you can see our clipboard over there that engineer Rick is going to be looking at, it's a big one, uh, to uh, figure out which cars go where. So, we're off.
first up, we'll pull on out of here and uh, grab a hold of our little line of cars here and uh, we'll be uh, pulling them all the way out. As you can tell, I got the camera on the tripod here, so uh, no shaking today unless I kick the thing over. Or short out uh, something right there. there you go figure, new guy over there. He had the, I uh, didn't turn the track over, we shorted everything out. All right, I think he got it uh, fixed there. We uh, scolded him, dude. Get with the program. And boy, I hope this isn't an uh, indication of how the rest of this uh, little operation is going to go. <laughs> you can't even get out of the yard without shorting out the layout. Alright, so we'll grab a hold of these guys and... Give it a little stretch here. Looking good. Alright, we'll watch the old uh, train run by here. And then, like I said, that, that clipboard there, we're going to stop at, start at the top, work our way down, and uh, basically just uh, put the cars in the correct track. Right? So we're going we're gonna to say, like, uh, the uh, track farthest from us, over there by the backboard, is number one. And then we got two, three, four. So we're on number four right now. And if I take a look at the uh, clipboard, the first car that we're going to be dropping off is a rail box car going to track three. So unless you want to listen to me uh, babbling on about who knows what, you could probably just put this video on, uh, you know, fast forward, fast speed there, double speed. Because we're just going to be splitting cars up. Unless you like this kind of stuff, which I do. It's a big long train. Stop right there, and we're going to one, two, three here. Right there is good. Now, the uh, next car there is going to uh, number one. Now I'm guessing there's a, there's probably a rule where uh, the guy running the actual train remote has got to see the locomotive, but uh, we'll just fudge that here a little bit. All right, next car. Ooh, let's see. Uh... You know, I don't think I classified that. Hmm. Sun. You know, I didn't put a number next to the car, so I'm not quite sure what track it goes on, but it's gonna go on... Let's see here. Well, we'll pull out as we uh, wait to figure this out.
Well, I'm going to put them on number three because that uh, got to kind of make sense here. Uh, since those guys are going down to uh, Huntington Beach for track three. Now here's where it can start getting interesting because we're probably going to have to do um, some blocking of cars. Wait to see, I didn't think of that, right? We're just kind of dividing them up, but uh, I got to divide them up by industry now too. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. So what I'm getting at here is uh, that yellow uh, boxcar there is going down to uh, where's it going? I don't know. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's going down to. Uh, reliable lumber down in Huntington Beach, this guy right here. Um, and so we're going to put this uh, gondola along with, I think, another gondola that's going to be going to Sanford and Son. They can drop that off on their way back. So now here's where we got to figure out uh, how are these two going to head down that way. Um, and so in my layout, um, they'll actually be reversed, right? Uh, no, actually, they'll be the exact same order. So, meaning, if these two gar cars headed out into the layout, went around the layout, basically Huntington Beach is right behind us right here. And so it does a kind of 360 right there. So they'll be in the exact same order. Yeah, just double checking. So actually, what we have to do is we have to have the gondolas on the back of the train. Anything going uh, farther down to Huntington Beach has to be kind of on the front of the train. So, uh, we're going to have to change those two guys up a little bit here, and uh, let's see how I'll do this. Hmm, okay. We'll connect back up. We'll pull that gondola off, and we will set him on uh, track five, a little temporary track here. Yeah. There we go. Hope I didn't derail anybody. Okay, so uh, we're going to set them out right here just uh, temporarily because we're going to have to respot them. So this is one of the things that I kind of like about doing, uh, doing yard work. It can get uh, nice and complicated, which is always fun. Keeps you on your toes here. Even though I got... Uh, Pretty much all the cars going in the right, uh, you know, the, the right section of the layout. Uh, there's things like that. That throw a little, uh, little monkey wrench into the works here. So what we'll do is we'll spot uh, the two gondolas over here on track uh, five. Then we'll come back in with uh, anything going farther down south to Huntington Beach and uh, we'll put them on the end of the gondolas. I guess if I wasn't filming this, I'd actually be marking off which cars I'm uh, dropping off on my clipboard. So next up is this tank car, number 239, uh, he's going to SoCal Oil. Ooh. Hmm. This is getting more complicated now. Track three again. So we got uh, more stuff going to SoCal Oil here. I think what we're going to do is temporarily spot him. <laughs> I'm running out of track now. We're going to put him on track four for right now. So track three, four, and five are all going to be going down to the same train. We just got to get them in the right order. Because I could put this one over here with the gondola, but I know we got another gondola that's got to come over here.
All right, next up. We get back to a little bit uh, simpler stuff here. This uh, tank car here is going to be going to track one, going down a Titan. And just to keep things a little bit simpler here, since uh, it's getting more complicated than I thought it was going to get, um, we could kind of uh, do the same thing for cars going uh, on track one, too, because uh, there is Titan Transfer and there's a Royal Plywood, a couple cars that are going to be heading down that way, so we kind of got to get those sort of boxed up or uh, blocked into the same order. But... Uh, I'm just going to see how it goes. I'm not going to worry about blocking those first. Alright, next up is our uh, 267. That's going to Shasta Beverage. Well, that's going to track one, too. See, I'm already screwing this up. Hmm. My goodness. I should have took a look at the uh, should have took a look at the list before I uh, disconnected there. But yeah, the blue uh, box car that's going to be going track one, and of course we didn't get a good connection back there. I think our coupler there on the uh, on the tank car was just stuck a little bit. There we go. All right, before I disconnect, let me double check where this guy's going. Seven ten is going track three. So he's going with this guy over here. You can see this gets uh, complicated pretty quickly here. Before I cut him off, I'll take a look at the uh, next car, which is going to Surfer's Outlet down in Huntington Beach, but kind of the other side of Huntington Beach, so that's why he's not, uh, he's not going with these guys. this make sense to you guys? Because uh, I'm starting to get confused. Push this one out just a little bit farther here. Right there is good. Now the next car, our center beam lumber car. Uh, I did a little bit of a change. Uh, let me just double check. Oh, come on. Seriously? There we go. Let me take a look at, uh, at my spreadsheet because this center beam is going to, oh, let's see, Royal Plywood. So a little bit different here. Um, I normally only put box cars in Royal Plywood, but um, like center beam and flat cars, they would end up going to Huntington Beach. But 
And I kind of mixed it up a little bit. I said, well, those can also go to Royal Plywood. So it puts them on a different train, um, which is going to be, uh, let's see here, where are we at? Looking at my uh, spreadsheet, I'm getting confused already. All right, here, track one. There we go. This is gonna be a long video, huh? I think we're almost done, though. If I can keep all the other cars uh, in check. Now here's where it's gonna get a little bit complicated. I'm just gonna make sure our couplers are looking good there. Yep. Because uh, we're taking up the space uh, that I was going to be putting the next car to uh, try to at least block these cars in the right uh, order. I think I need more tracks in my yard. All right, so AOK -okay 157 is supposed to be going to track four. And I think here's what we're going to do. Here's where we're going to put these guys together now. So uh, we want to get the gondola first. We'll figure out the other gondola in a minute here. Oh my goodness, look at that. Laying down on the job. All right, here. Put them up over here. I'm try to keep this kind of simple here. We'll put together our car that's supposed to be on track three. That's uh, currently occupying three, four, and five. Ooh, and of course, we don't get a good connection. Still a little cool in here. See, I don't even know if I'm doing this right. Let me think about this. Yeah, we got to pick up all the other cars. Gondola goes on the on the tail end. I was gonna get the tanker here. Oh, no, we're getting the box cars first, then the tank car, and then the gondola. Okay, I think I got it figured out. So the more I do this, uh, I think I get better here. So uh, hopefully we won't have so many screw ups like this. But hey, you get to follow along and uh, see just how complicated it can get running a yard with a lot of cars going to a lot of industries going that got to get boxed up in the same order. Hopefully, I grab my two box cars here. It looks like I did. Then we'll grab the tank car and then the gondola, and then we'll put them all back on their proper track. You might be thinking, boy, this is one big freaking cluster, huh? But actually, this is why I like doing yard work, because uh, I could just stand here in the exact same spot. And I don't have to wander around. And uh, I can enjoy uh, playing with uh, my cars here, playing with my trains. 
It keeps my mind active, too. Keeps you on your toes. Alright, so we'll get the gondola, and then uh, these guys are all going on track three. telling you we're gonna finish this in one one take one video I don't care if it's five hours long of course I'm only kidding with you I think we're almost done here you just got to sort these cars out we got track three and I think we're good here. <clears throat> All right, right there's good. Cut them off. All right, now AOK -okay 175, we can kind of get back to work, is going to track four. And, whew. I think we only got uh, two cars that are going on track four, but hey, uh, I'm good with that. Now what might happen after the fact, I might say, well, we can maybe uh, pair a couple of these trains up together. Like I said, uh, this uh, little light blue car. We only got two cars that are going to, uh, on this train, one going over to United Polymers and the other one to Athern. Um, so we might tag them with uh, one of the other cars that are going farther down the line and they can kind of stop and take care of these two cars for us. All right, we'll cut him off here. Now let me see the next car, uh, our little lumber car here, 290. He's going to track one, and that uh, works out good because we got our center beam already sitting there. We only really got a couple more box car, a couple more cars to go. One, two, three, four, five cars, and we'll be done. Slow it down there just a little bit. Make sure we get a good connection. Now here's our other gondola, unfortunately. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be good here. We're gonna, we're gonna do what we gotta do here. It's not about making it uh, simple, it's about making it right. So we'll uh, drop this guy off on, uh, what is it, track five again. And then we'll have to respot him, uh, or I guess, uh, what do you call it, block him in the correct order in the train there.
We right, just get them up far enough so we are, are not on a curve here. All right, next up, our little uh, bioenergy car. Number 238 is going to track four. Yeah, oh boy. Here's where it starts getting complicated again. <laughs> and I thought we were almost done. Oh boy, okay. Well, we're actually going to put him on track two temporarily because we got to get him in the right order. Got it. A lot of movements here when you're doing the cars in the yard. Like I said, it's a, it's a, it's an acquired taste, I think. I don't know if any, everybody would be uh, up for doing it this way. All right, so we're we're temporarily spotting this car right here because um, he's got to go on this train over here, and he's got to go over here with uh, with this tank car. So we're gonna have to run back in. And grab our, uh, at least part of our other train. Let me see, yeah, that's right. Yeah, so we basically got to we got to put that uh, tank car that we dropped off in the middle of our train that we've already built. So we're going to grab the first half of the uh, train here, these box cars. Oops, sorry, get the camera on you. And actually, you know, while we're here, uh, we got to take care of this gondola too. So I think that's what we're going to do. This is getting more complicated. I like it. So first off, we'll grab the gondola over here uh, that needs to go with that guy. kind of worked out pretty good. Uh, the more I do this, the more I, I realize that once you get towards the kind of end of uh, getting stuff, uh, you know, blocked out together, it kind of starts falling together. The pieces start kind of falling into place here. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and cut this guy off right here. And then we'll go grab our... Oop, wrong way. Ooh, engineer Rick there, slow it down. We'll grab our other tank car and get him uh, situated in the right spot. I know, it looks like we're not getting anything done, does it? <laughs> Our train's getting longer instead of shorter here. But uh, I think we're almost done. We'll get these guys put together, and, and I think we only got two more cars left. And I think they're going to be pretty simple. All right, 
slow it down just a little bit here make sure we got our couplers good we're a little bit on the curve right there but uh, i was a little rush in there all right here we go we got our train put together now we just got to get it on the right track and that would be uh, track number three or is that four i can't remember <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to double check here. Huh. Oh boy, I think I made a mistake. Let me think about this for a second. All right, I'm just confusing myself here a little bit. For some reason, I was thinking these were going to be going to... Man, I see I'm screwing up already. I thought they were going on track four, but actually we've got these guys slated to go on track three. So, we got to go there. I guess this kind of helps if uh, I actually label the tracks um, because when you're looking down at all these tracks over here it can kind of get confusing that's that's what happened to me I thought uh, I thought they were going with this uh, box car here but they're not all right once we drop these guys off uh, we just got two more and I promise you they're simple We got the tank car and the uh, box car left over here. The tank car is going to track one with our other cars. <laughs> Great. Okay, not so simple. Well, let's think about this last car here. This guy is going to track two, so we can get rid of him. I'm going to go ahead and cut him off here. And we'll get him out of the way. Then we got to pull all the cars out of track one again because we got to get that tank car on the tail end of the uh, the line of cars there. All right, here we go. Oh my goodness, this video is so long, my battery's almost dead. Promise, we're almost done. So I got two cars on uh, track two over here. Go ahead and uh, disconnect them. And oh, and we're almost done. I love it. Let's see. Of course, I can't see back there. So that final tank car right here, unfortunately, has got to go all the way on the other end of uh, track one. We're going to grab everything off of uh, track one and just grab that tank car and we will be done before my battery runs runs out. This video must be getting long. I right, think I got a good connection back there. I hope so. Yep. All we need now is a derailment.
Let's see if we can get a nice connection here without without pushing them into the other cars. Yep, we did. All right, we've got everything uh, blocked correctly here. We just gotta drop these guys off on track one and we will be done. Well guys, since my battery is running low over here, I'm gonna call it quits here as we uh, push back. I hope you enjoyed that uh, little yard classification video. Until next time guys. Take care.